It's Doug Cameron with the TickWatch E3 Reveal. Welcome to the Blind Android Users Channel. This is your source for everything Android tutorials and demos, all from a blindness perspective. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. The TicWatch E3 is a lightweight, budget level smartwatch. Its parent device, or the premium version of this, is the TicWatch Pro 3. Both of which are currently running the Snapdragon 4100 chipset. But more about that later. Right now, it's all about the E3. It is a 1.3 inch non AMOLED screen. I really have no idea what screen type it is, but it is definitely not AMOLED. All I know is it's very high quality, visually appealing, and highly functional. The device as you see in front of you, if you really can't see it, check that out, is in panther black. The straps are a silicon rubber which feel great on the wrist. You can tell the thickness is a little chunky but it's not very bad at 12 millimeters. Back of the watch is your fitness and health center. As you can tell, it has a number of sensors. These are for your oxygen and your pulse. That's right, this watch can track your health. Amazing, right? Well, not really most watches can do that. It's pretty awesome though. On the right side, you have your two main navigation buttons. The top being your home and applications, as well as your Google Assistant. The bottom being a quick launch customizable button. And if you press and hold, you open a menu for power off, restart, speaker drain, because guys, it's IP68 certified. And also to put your battery into essential mode. That way it's gonna last you longer. But more of that later. As I said before, this watch is IP68 certified. So let's not take it into the ocean, guys. IP68 only means it is freshwater certified, not salt water. Everybody knows salt water is highly conductive. Let's not electrocute ourselves. So let's get into the main operating of this watch. As I said before, this watch is one of two that I know of that are running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 4100 chipset. This makes it snappy, fast, efficient. So we're looking at the watch right now and we can see how fast this scrolls. This is a huge one up when it comes to the functionality of the oh so lovely TicWatch E3. This watch also comes loaded with one gigabyte of RAM and an eight gigabyte of storage. So you never run out of speed or space. But then again, you might, if you're like me and you like music while you're out on the go. But then maybe I should just carry my phone with me more. It also is equipped with three GPS trackers, your GPS navigation, your GLONASS navigation, and your BDU navigation. I apologize to any countries that I have said these two words wrong. GLONASS is Russian and BDU is Chinese. Please, can somebody actually tell me how to say these two correctly? If I'm not, I would really appreciate it. The battery that's equipped on board is a 3800 milliamp battery. I think I said that already. I really don't know what it's comprised of, but I can assume that it's a lithium ion. It charges with a magnetic charger, which is both solid in its connection 
and relatively fast. This watch will charge from 0 to 100% in approximately 2 hours. So it's not as fast as the TicWatch Pro 3 at 90 min minutes, but it's very close. Again, it's budget grade. What can we expect? There are going to be some corners cut. Let's move into the software. And more importantly, the accessibility software. Android Wear comes loaded with TalkBack for those of us with visual impairments. It is great, it's functional, and it is easy to use. Unless you're me. Normally during setup, you tap your two fingers to the screen and hold them there to turn TalkBack on. Somehow I screwed this up and required the assistance of Be My Eyes and my camera to do so. So, you know, don't do whatever I did. After setup, you're going to have to make one major change. You're going to want to go into your settings by swiping down from the top of the screen with two fingers and entering into your settings menus. And go down to personalization and then turn off the Mobvoi launcher. Oxygen. Plus settings. Settings. Sound, display, sound, apps and note, gestures, connective, gestures, connect, accessible, general, personal, general, personal, per accounts, screen lock, customize hardware button, on, switch, smart reply, input methods, assistant access, off, switch, mob boy launcher, tap to activate. Yes, I'm very sad that we have to turn off the Mobvoi launcher. Though it is visually appealing and quite honestly much more sophisticated than the Android Wear launcher, it's not accessible for those of us who use TalkBack. It's sad, but hopefully we'll see those changes come with the new version of Android Wear OS coming out hopefully this fall. If rumors are appropriate or correct, we might see something as early as the end of August. Go Google and Samsung. Once you have this one change made, you'll be able to fly through the software on this phone, <laughs> phone, right, watch, and enjoy it. As you can see, TalkBack is not reading these icons. Currently on screen, we have four icons in a square pattern. This is the Mobvoi launcher. We need to change this back, so let's do it. I'm going to hit the home button. We're now on the home face. Two fingers swipe down from the top of the screen. Open settings. Settings. Heading. In list. Alert. Settings. Settings. Apps and notific sound. Gestures. Tap to activate. Apps and note. Gest. Connect. Accessible. Accessible. General. Personalization. Personalize. Screen lock. Personalize. Personal. Screen lock. Automatic. Account. Screen lock. Pin. Verify your screen. Cancel button. Tap. We don't want this. This has nothing Cancel. to do with what we're trying to do. A block screen. A screen. Choose pin. Cancel. Personalization. Screen lock. Automatic. In list. Account. Screen. 
Account. Screen. Custom. On. Input methods. Tap to act. Assistant access. On. Switch. Mob Boy Launcher. And we'll turn the Mob Boy Launcher effect. off. Oh. That should do it. Let's go back to our home screen. Home. And let's go to the apps. Oxygen. And you can see Talkback is now reading. And they're in a list view. It is equipped with all of the stock goodies, such as an agenda, your contacts, your phone. You have to download Google Messages, but that's not a big deal. And all the fitness and health tracking apps you could dream of. The Google Fit Suite is preloaded, as is the Tick Health Suite. I personally have set up Tick Oxygen, Pulse, Health, and sleep for the tracking ability. I'm not a fan of tick exercise because I prefer my Strava and Google Fits. That being said, you have to know that there are some inaccessible features within the tick suite of applications. There are going to be some buttons that are unlabeled. We can all assume what they do, but let's be safe. There are also some list view style menus that are not accessible to us. Mobvoi, if you're listening, can we please work on this? It would make those of us who love your watches and software a lot happier. In all, I have to say, in the 24 hours I've been using this device, I absolutely love it. I just used it last night to track my sleep and I'm quite impressed with what it tells me. Unfortunately, there's some data that it doesn't provide me that I would like to know, but maybe I have to go download a third-party app to get that. Anyway, this watch is definitely something you want to have in your pocket. Well, maybe your wrist. Having a watch in your pocket just seems useless in today's world. Oh. I did forget one important feature. This watch also has NFC. So, you have Google Pay? Well, yeah, you do now. Just load your cards up on your phone and they appear on your watch. Tap your screen to the point of sale terminal and walk away. In all, I'm very impressed with my watch. And let's face it, it's sexy. And I'm Doug Cameron for blind Android users, and this was a Tick Watch 3 E3. Thanks for listening to another clip from the Blind Android Users channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of every new material that we upload. Thanks again for listening to the Blind Android Users channel.